God is able. God is able. God is able, and He He won't fail. God is able. God is able. Tell me who can make a mountain move around on my way, and who can make a miracle because of my faith. And when the doctor says no, who can still say yes? And when I'm in trouble, who's right there? Chapter 2 and verse 42, we are told they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer. That's what we are doing today. So stay tuned. <laughs> Oh, 
Paul. Amen. Paul's well. Boys and girls, guess what? Before your children's story, we have a special feature for you, and this will be a weekly thing. It's called the Word of the Day. So get your pencil and your papers ready. And whenever the preacher says a certain word, then you're going to record it, and then we'll have a special token for you, for the winners. At this time, you're going to see the word of the day for today, the word you'll be looking here. have two prayer partners on the line active one of them brother charles when he will open his video if he might and the other is brother ralph wilkins yes amen amen all right charles brother so we are all going to stay together I'd like to call some other names before I introduce my two brothers. Um, Dr. Jackie Ambush. She's not on the line now, but I pray with her. Brother Corey Tiller, not on the line now, but I pray with him. Brother Fitz Paisley, not on the line now, but I pray with him. Nikki Wilkins Brown, the daughter of Ralph, mm -hmm. one of my prayer partners. Mm -hmm. Mike Williams and Miles Davis, not present with us today. I'm hoping that my list will grow to 12. I've asked the Lord to give me a list of 12. But let me tell you about these two brothers first. Brother Ralph, who I only came in contact with about two weeks ago. When Nikki asked me, would you call my father and pray with him as he struggled through a bout of cancer? Mm -hmm. I called him. He was like he was waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Welcoming, kind, gracious. Brother Ralph then checked on to our worship line last Sabbath morning and wrote me back a thank you note to say, Pastor, I enjoy the worship experience. I'm coming to you, Charles. Don't go yet. And so I wanted to be able to make you meet. Brother Ralph, we'll pray together online. Today we're going to be praying first before I pray with you, Charles. I'd like to introduce Charles because I met Charles at a real estate um, conference and trying to work on our project for the church. I went to a real estate conference to learn what was happening in Alexandria with development. And I met him. He came over, he actually came over and spoke to me. And I was so rejoicing. And he said to me, Pastor, one of these days I'd like to work with you on your church project. <laughs> A year nearly passed <laughs> before we got together again. But then I phoned him. I do not remember. He called me again and I called him. And he told me when I called, he was in a very sad mood. His mother had just died. 
And we started praying together. And I asked him, would you hear, you are so big, I'm so small, but I don't mind being your father, mentor. <laughs> he has accepted me. Folks, I'm telling you the story because when a young man like Chaz, every time I phoned him to pray, he has never turned me away. But always so receptive that I kind of, at one point began to ask the Lord, is this for real, a young man? Because many men in America today, young men, they don't spend time with religious affairs and stuff. And then I text him last night. I said to him, or this morning, I said, would you care that I pray for your children publicly and I pray for your wife publicly? He texted me back and said, it's okay, pastor. So you will hear me call their names when I'm praying for him. And he'll be praying to after I pray. I'm going to go to Brother Ralph Wilkins. My wife is going to read the biblical text from Deuteronomy. Or let me read it. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses, verse 5. Which says what? Here. And thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6, 5. So I'm going to pray two separate prayers now. They won't be long, but I want to give Brother Ralph the opportunity to pray right after I pray. So for my sake, I raise my hands and put them over your head, Brother Ralph, if you can see them as I pray for you. Gracious, precious Jesus. Jesus. What a wonderful name you are. Yes. What power. What grace, what compassion, what love the Father has bestowed upon us through you, mm. Jesus Christ. Mm. Your death upon the cross, the prayers in the garden of Gethsemane, the blood spilling out through your veins, the sword in your side, mm. the nails in your feet and your hands, the crown of thorns upon your head, all of that was given for Brother Ralph. Yes. And given for me. Mm -hmm. And so I want to thank you today for the fact that I can say I'm redeemed, not with mm -hmm. silver. I am restored not with gold, but with the price of the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Precious price of love and told. Amen. Here is what I'm doing today. I'm putting my brother before your face. Because the Bible has told us that we ought to call upon you in our day of trouble. Yes. And you will deliver us. And you will Amen. glorify, and we shall glorify your name. Amen. In fact, when you say that you will lift us up, it means that you're going to pray some glory of God over us. And that's what you're going to do with Brother Ralph. You have said, when we pray, it's not just about the healing of the body. But it's about the healing of the soul. Amen. That's why it says, if any is sick among you, and call for the elders of the church, let them pray over him. And he will be healed. He'll be saved. That's what it says. So I ask you today that as I put my hand upon Brother Ralph and pray over him, and his faith draws up to God, help that he will feel the power of the Spirit. Oh, yes. Testimonies of the gold. Cancer is cured. Mm. This man is better. Yes. This man is restored to life and redeemed in Jesus. Mm. And that he will follow through, praising God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Brother Ralph, your time to pray. First, I want to to thank the pastor for allowing me to enter into this circle, into this congregation that is so full of praise. And in Jesus' name, I want to say thank you, Father. Yes. Not only for this day, but thank you for all that you have done. 
Father God, what more can I ask for? Mm. I have seen all that you have done for me in my life. I'm 73 years old, you know that, Father, mm. and I've had some ups and downs. But throughout the whole journey, Father, I have seen you there, I've seen your help, I've seen you work. So I, this morning, on this holy day, Father, I just want to praise you and thank you. Yes. Yes, not for myself, but ask for your family of worshipers. Yes. And ask for the yeah. prayer partners that are present today, that you touch their spirit and you make them strong and keep them mm -hmm. full of joy, the joy that only can come from your embrace. Yes. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Amen. Now, I'm going to turn to Brother Charles, and I'm going to pray over him. Mighty God, ever loving Father. Mm -hmm. Your son, Charles, is here. Yes, he's not focused on popularity, the name of kings, but he's focused on you today. Amen. He came on the program and has been on the program. This is about his fourth Sabbath with us mm. in the worshiping experience. And from what I'm learning about him, he has made up his mind that the number one person in his life is going to be Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord, we have prayed about his career development, his studies, that he will find the right kind of professional career section and job that he wants to be in, although he's working already. But we want to also thank you. We prayed about his family and his marital situation. So I want to call the names of his children today with whom he's very close and his wife, Elaine, his daughter, Elena, his daughter, Erin. I place them before you, Father. Because you have promised when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard against him yes. and allow him to run. Amen. So here's what I'm doing at this point. I'm asking you, he's a lover of his family, his wife and children. I've seen the evidence. And when there is so much brokenness in families in America, in the world, I'm asking you to put a circle around them and help that the devil will not get in to destroy them. Amen. But that as he make a commitment today and as he places his family before your face, that you will help that the spirit of the living God will be the center of the home. Christ will be that constant guest that will be there. And then we usually close our prayer nights with prayer for the spirit of God. In the same way that you came up on Peter and James and John, in the same way that you came up on the apostle Paul, I'm asking you today to come up on this man and help that he will be one that will be extracted from the common culture. And next time that he will be saying, I am a child of the king. Amen. Not just by creation, but by redemption. Mm -hmm. I turn over you, though, Chaz, and I ask you to pray now. As I put the prayer in your hand. Is he with me? You're on mute, Charles. I'm sorry, I'm here. I just, my signal is going in and out, so I don't... Um, are we hearing you? I, I was just trying to move a little somewhere closer to my router. My apologies. Yes, no yes. problem. Um, 
Um, Heavenly Father, uh, we come to you yeah. first and foremost asking for your forgiveness for our sins. Yeah. Um, your word says that if we ask for your forgiveness, all will be better. Yes. yes. Um, Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you for your shepherds, um, both Dr. Kennedy's for, and, their con and his congregation. Yes. Um, for allowing me to come in and share this time with you all. Um, Heavenly Father, I just, um, I ask for, uh, we ask that, I thank you for allowing me to, uh, to allow Dr. King to help me uh, heal through this situation, through these trying times. Yes. Um, and, uh, we ask, uh, we ask that you just uh, continue to strengthen us all on this call um, yeah. through our everyday life and our everyday challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, we ask that you um, just continue to bless us in everything we attempt and strive to do. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? If I didn't miss anybody, I'd like to say a few things before we close. You can hear Chaz's girls in the background. <laughs> I hear them when we call, when I call him in the night. They're always around him, like two little angels trying to protect him. Oh, right now. <laughs> so here, just a few things for all of us. There are some conditions for answered prayer. If we're going to pray, number one, Jesus said we must have faith. Mark 11 and verse 24, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Amen. Jesus has promised that. And remember what he said in Hebrews 11. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Um, he who comes to God must believe that he is yes. and that he's a reward of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Secondly, I give you a list as I close out. We need to be humble and contrite in heart. Stop, listen to me. My friend used to say, stop the pussyfooting around. Mm -hmm. Stop messing around, making excuses, mm -hmm. shortchanging yourself. We need to be humble in heart and confess the reality as to where we are in our life so we can move on. The third, write down because I'm going to give them to you fast, is persistence and perseverance. Remember what the Apostle Paul said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17, pray without ceasing. Remember the story Jesus told in Luke chapter 18, but he prefaced it this way, and he told them a parable to the effect that people ought always to pray and not to faint or not to lose heart. Because many of us, we go a little way and we forget it. Thirdly, when we pray, or fourthly, when we pray, we ought to pray in the will of God. In the will of God. Remember what James says? The reason that many of us, our prayers are not being answered James 4 and verse 3 is that you ask, but you don't receive because you ask for wrong things. To spend it on your passions. Folks, I'm asking us, let us remember that it's not just material things. And if you catch your children only playing, praying about their school grades, they want to make an A, teach them how to pray. To pray more than just for a school grade or just for the toy that they need. Let them pray for the neighbor. Let them pray for their friends at school. Let them pray that God will save them. This is important. Let us remember that as we pray, we ought to pray sincerely. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 7. Remember Brother Shervin covered that this week. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard from their many words. You don't have to pray a lot of words, but pray seriously and pray sincerely. Write down also this point. 
When you pray, learn how to give thanks to God. Do not be anxious about praying. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 says, But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And God is very happy when we give him thanks. Write down this one. When we pray, we ought to learn how to repent in our hearts. Remember Psalm 66 and verse 18. Psalm 66 and verse 18 says, If I cherish iniquity in my heart, mm -hmm. the Lord will not listen to me. Mm. And then here's the next one I want to give you as I'm closing out. Write this one down. When you pray, we ought to learn to be obedient. First John chapter 3 and verse 22, and whatsoever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. Don't pray if you don't want to hear what God says. Don't pray if you don't want to do what God says, because if you pray, God is going to tell you what to do. And we ought to recognize that if we pray, we need to listen to God. I'm not here to mention every reason why prayers are not answered or why prayers are answered. The purpose of this day is simply to encourage us to pray. And there's a song that says, just keep on praying. Your prayers will prevail for the Lord is true. Just keep on praying. His word never fails. He will answer you. Just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. The Lord will answer you. Don't despair. Just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. For he always has an answer. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So that we are here, you too. Let's pray. Let's pray. Raise your hand with me, everybody. Mighty Father, Holy Spirit, as Brother Johnny likes to say, have your way. Have That's your right. way in our lives today. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Lord Jesus, we know sometimes we don't want you near. But when you come near, you're like them dentists mm -hmm. going through our mouth and telling us our teeth are rotting, mm -hmm. our gums are receding, and you want to repair. So sometimes we want to stay away, but I'm asking you today to help us that our hearts will be open, we'll become vulnerable and ready for the actions of God. Please, Jesus, draw near and accept our prayers because. Sometimes we are caught in storms and we need your help. Yes. When we shout, we know you're there. <laughs> we want you to be there. Okay, that did it. So we are asking you to do it today. Thank you for your power, your peace, your blessing in our lives. Okay, thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Let me Amen. tell you, somebody just got on the line with us. I'm going to pray for her. I think she just got logged on. She must have been trying since morning. <laughs> Sister Moore, stay on the line. That beautiful smile. Amen. I see you. I have to pray for you. I see you just got on. And I know you were on last week. I didn't get to see you as clearly. But you're standing there today. That's my sister. <laughs> and, thank uh, you you want to travel to south carolina to go look for your sister south carolina north carolina you're on do you want to go look i'm going soon <laughs> soon you, go soon. Mm -hmm. you got your two vaccinations and you're going soon you got your vaccinations uh -huh. yes i got both of them yes let us pray for sister more gracious father who art in heaven i thank you for sister sandra thank you that uh, she has been trying to get under the program since morning, God, she's just here, but I don't want to leave her out. And so I want to ask you to cover her. Mm. And as she even plans to go finally see her on who she used to go see every month, but now for the last year has not been able to go. I'm asking you to protect her. 
yeah. from any of the variants. I'm asking that you would keep her safe and remember each of us. And God, if there's any one of us that need especially a hand today to reach out to us, please remember us in mercy. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 is over to you as you pray for the youth of the nation. Families. Brother Shirley. Yeah, today, we pray for the nation. Uh, we're praying for families in our nation. Yes. Families in our nation. Let's pray. Okay. Holy Father, Lord of the Sabbath, mm. we come to you this day, your holy day, in reverence and in thanksgiving for your many blessings to us. We thank you for your people. We thank you for the prayers and the prayer partners that has been represented here today. And for their families. We ask for forgiveness of sins. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Touch my tongue with the coals of fire. Cleanse me as I intercede on behalf of our families now, families in this nation, you have permitted the formation of families for the salvation of souls. And Father, may we recognize as priests, as servants, as your people, this great responsibility that we have to save our families that you give us grace, that you give us love, that you give us patience, that you give us trust, and that you give us hope that in the end, our families and we all will be saved and thy kingdom will be enlarged, thy name honored and glorified in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Triple fold. Hold them in. Amen. Amen.